So the whole reason this pump failed is because it didn't have oil in it and it was run with no oil. Um, then the rust and moisture got in there and just made it nasty. So you have to oil them. So the way you oil them is right here. You unscrew this top and this is where you add oil. Now, there's a check plug right here and the drive side of the pump. It's behind the lift pump. That's what you open up to check the level, but it's kind of hard to get at. If you fill up the pump, it takes about a pint. And if you're a little over or whatever, it'll just drain out of this tube and it'll eventually stop. This is the overfill tube. So you can't over, I mean, you can overfill the pump, but it corrects itself. Um, like as you change your engine oil and stuff, if you add a little bit and it drains out, not the end of the world, but you have to make sure there's oil in the pump. And the checker plug is actually right, right there. You're supposed to take that guy out. It can be done. Um, it's just not, it's not easy. So you can fill it up and if it drains out of here, it's not gonna hurt anything either. So that's it. Oh, we posted the video of what the pump looked like before when we dump out. It was nasty. Um, the condition it came in, their whole reason was tractor wouldn't start. Before the tractor shut down, they were having problems with the governor surgeon trying to over rev or under rev or what have you, searching for position. That was the pump slowly locking up on them. But anyhow, that's it, y'all. Okay, I got our pump back from the rebuilders. This is nice painted blue pump. Looks a little different than when we set it out. This is the old parts that he sent back. All of that old corrosion and busted springs and no wonder this poor thing couldn't run. So now we get to put that pump on the back side of that hole and see if we can do it. Now, these bolts are nasty. Chase these bolts out. M10 by 1.0, I believe, was the tap I used. Make sure they're good and clean. You can see they started off life really rusty and gnarly when I started cleaning. And these are the easy ones. Anybody in the grandma could do this one. hard one. Sometimes you have to be smarter than what you're working with. Those back bolts, when you get them started, get you a magnet or something. This is a, na a magnet from the Snap-on Man. I get no money for mentioning Snap-on, but it's a coat hanger with a magnet on the end of it. I bought this from the Snap-on truck. It cost me um, Initial payment of $69.95, and I think I'm still paying $10 on it for the next five years or something like that. It's, it's not cheap, but it works, and it works good. Okay, these back ones, as you can see, those back ones are all the way between the block, that hole right there. Yeah. Okay, so now, we get to install all of those new, and get to install all of our hoses back. And for lucky for us, the rebuild guy sent us new copper washers, which is cool. I got new copper to there. Um, I got one more copper here. I sold, saved all this old copper, but I 
if I didn't need to. That's cool. Get all of our copper hooked up. Get all of our line back where they gotta go. Here goes nothing. I've, uh, boy, this thing ain't light. This thing ain't, ain't light. So if my doctor's watching, this is why I have a bad back, doc. So this is what stops this machine here. This is your stop cable. Okay, oh. Easy greasy. That's your stop cable. Now, if that's your stop cable, that makes that throttle cable. Get her up there, like so. Oh, 